For a while, we had a dialogue around um, tall buildings and the history of tall buildings, what's going on now globally, uh, what are models, and what are the New York models. While the base and the tops of buildings have been the playground uh, for the development of a kind of distinctive architecture, the middles of buildings have been famously neglected. And we thought that it was time to really pull some attention to the middle of a building, actually to kind of negotiate the eye away from the street and away from uh, the long range of the skyline to a kind of mid-range. Um, and this particular design came out of a reflection around the program uses of the building and the distinction between the rental spaces and the condominiums um, and how the building could articulate a difference between these uh, programmatic divisions of the tower. I, I think it was also interesting to think about a building where the middle could produce the top, that we still wanted a kind of acknowledgement that the building meets the sky, but that in fact our building uh, is part of the ensemble of buildings, how it was seen from the west side, how it was seen from the high line, how it might be seen from the north. So that the building translates from an orthogonal geometry to a cloverleaf geometry. This is an early concept model, and this represents the middle, actually the middle of the building. And uh, so this, this corset strategy, um, when you apply a certain kind of tension to it, um, the tension uh, forces the material to, to bulge. And um, that was what we were very interested in. So you could see the rectangular geometry uh, and one end, which constitutes the bottom of the building, and to, the, see what it becomes. to the cloverleaf uh, on top and the transition through the corset.